Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today I'm presenting you another demo project based on Laravel and partly based on our quick admin panel. And this is one of the more serious demo projects and it won't be live coding by me, I will show you just the result because it took like a week or so to create it properly. This will be a ticketing system, so help desk ticketing uh, support system uh, like Zendesk or Help Scout, there are quite a lot of uh, SaaS solutions on the market, but it's pretty simple to create that in Laravel uh, and we created that based on a comment in other YouTube video and there is another already existing Laravel system ticket it, uh, but it's pretty old and it's not that actively maintained, so why don't we create something like that in Laravel 6? Uh, so this is the form of creating ticket from uh, from a customer so if you fill that in without any login and our system I was actually debating uh, with myself and with colleagues what how to do that properly whether that ticketing system should be totally separate as a standalone application or integrated as a package in your existing Laravel application and I thought that the best is to have it separately uh, in a sense that it could be integrated in non Laravel uh, environment so this will be a form for your customers. They are not logged in, so it's a separate URL and they fill in the ticket. So with form filler, I fill something in, then I drop some file to upload. And like example of a ticket, something goes wrong and then title, uh, I have an error, content, please help me. Something we submit. And what happens is the ticket is saved in the database uh, then the administrator of the system gets notified uh, by email. Here's my mail trap. So new ticket has been created for admin. Uh, and in the system there are admins and agents. So two roles basically. Well, three roles if you count the customers, the external uh, users, but they are not users of the system. And I'll show you how. So uh, they get the link, special link, which is uh, public. And you can get the status update here with a separate URL so whenever they want to review the status or later they will have comments they have the separate URL with author email and possibility to add more comments now what happens next so admin gets the the email I will copy that address into a separate browser window and this is admin panel basically that part is more or less generated with our quick admin panel but with some custom coding and I log in as admin and I see that ticket yep so I'm here and I have a ticket basically everything about the ticket I can view the attachment for example I can view all the data and every ticket has uh, three kind of drop downs three things to to choose from so status open or closed priority and then category uh, and then I can edit a ticket and assign to an agent assign to some other agent which is this one so assign to user agent one and also I can set a priority so for example high priority and category is billing payments for example I save that and then another notification is fired email notification to the agent so whenever someone is assigned to a ticket there is an email I will show you that and here's the list of all the tickets uh, viewed by admin meanwhile agent uh, receives this one you have been assigning the ticket and then K they can uh, view and log in and uh, update the ticket uh, this is the table of tickets and every agent sees only their own tickets not not everyone's and they can filter so open uh, priorities and then priorities should be for example only high priorities and if you can see it's colored so every all of those three stuff has colors and I will show you how it's uh, managed in a second so basically there are three drop downs and you can filter out whatever you want then admin can change statuses with colors priorities uh, there are some seed data with that so all those kind of typical priorities and statuses with categories I didn't know what typical to put in so just billing and technical questions so you can feel free and that's by the way that will be free on github uh, the whole system 
so then agent can add a comment or actually not only agent let's get back to tickets and let's uh, let's add a comment for for example as an admin I edit or actually I can view the ticket or click here in the table and then at the bottom uh, we are working on it so who gets notified about the comment uh, the customer itself so there's an email sent outside of the system to the customer and then everyone who uh, contributed to that uh, ticket so anyone who had a comment and a signed agent so a signed agent and the user themselves uh, have a ticket and if they click view full ticket here I can do that in Chrome actually because I'm logged out they see the same uh, kind of public vision uh, with the comment already present here so this is the way how we came up with interaction between tickets so admin can edit and assign agents agent can uh, edit the ticket uh, edit updates add comments and the public customer is facing only this part and they don't don't even see what is like priority what is some fields they don't even see a priority category and stuff like that but they do see comments for example and they can mail admin so this one is actually a link so this is a default setting uh, if you want customizations you can customize a lot of that because it's a Laravel project and now let's get into the code and I can show you a few things which are more interesting so from the code perspective I want to show you three interesting thing things observer uh, scope and filtering so observer how notification gets fired so whenever something is uh, changed or new ticket is assigned here's what happens in the model ticket uh, there is observer class ticket action observer and here's how it looks whenever the observer is created uh, observer sorry ticket is created uh, then uh, all the users with role admin get notified and role uh, user and role in our case is a many-to-many -many relationship so this one uh, whenever the ticket is assigned to something to someone uh, then the updated observer is fired actually updated observer is fired whenever something is updated and you can actually add more conditions but uh, if we have assigned to user is changed so if it's assigned uh, previously being not assigned or if it's assigned to another agent uh, then if we do have that assigned to user relationship uh, present then we send a notification to that uh, to that user so this is observer pattern so to speak then this is interesting add global scope on the model uh, so that's for agents to see only their ticket so add global scope and you can read more about eloquent scopes in official documentation of Laravel so this is the condition uh, if we have logged in user so if auth check and if we are inside of admin panel which is in our case it's a URL admin slash something and if logged in user is an agent then we uh, filter all the queries uh, all everything related to ticket with assigned to user ID being the user themselves so that's a scope and then final interesting thing is a filter uh, scope filter tickets another scope inside of that inside of that uh, model uh, this is interesting when one of those I'll show you one of those filters are present so tickets tickets here for some reason my homestead is lagging for a second or two uh, so this one if one of them is set uh, it's actually refreshing the whole page with JavaScript but this is the eloquent query when uh, it's a eloquent uh, filter eloquent function when when the request is present the priority is present then we filter if this is present uh, then we filter more uh, and basically you can add more and more conditions whenever some uh, for example you want to add like by agent by something else you can add more and more when conditions and the whole query will be built with adding more and more conditions so these are three more interesting things from that project apart from that it's more or less crud based uh, admin panel with uh, form uh, publicly available to submit the ticket 
And you can use that pretty much in your projects for your existing applications as a standalone admin panel for support. That's the vision. Uh, I don't want to compete with any like uh, bigger official applications like Zendesk or anything. Uh, probably won't launch it as a separate product or, or sell that. But as a as an open source project with example of uh, what can be a, what can be achieved with our quick admin panel. We release it to GitHub. Feel free to use it. If you have any ideas how to improve it, we will probably update it or feel free to add pull requests. If you have any comments about the code, also feel free to uh, comment on this YouTube video or on GitHub issues. Uh, let's discuss what can be better or improved. If you have any ideas for more, uh, videos like this one or demo projects, again, feel free to comment. Also subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of new videos or demo projects. Also check out our quick admin panel, which is the core of this project. If you want to generate admin panels similar to this one, try out our product. Yep, that's it. See you guys in other videos.